guys, I'm so happy I'm finally able to talk properly. <laughs> In case you don't know, I recently underwent a tooth surgery, which is why my face is kind of swollen right now and also why we weren't able to upload a video for you guys over the weekend. But, you know, being bedridden has given me a lot of time to think of content and just you know, things that I would like that would be fun to share with you guys. So, beginning with this video, because a lot of you guys, especially the moms, have been asking me for tips and advice and whatnot on how to keep a healthy and fit lifestyle. And now, especially in pregnancy, because I am 21 weeks pregnant. So as much as this video is long overdue, I want to begin by sharing my prenatal workout routine. Also, before anything, I'd like to clarify that as much as I'm sharing things that I've been doing for a long time and I have experience doing them, I am not a licensed professional and it's still best for you to consult one and know that every body, every pregnancy, every person is different so the types of workouts that may work for each of us will vary and that this isn't me um, telling you what to do or teaching you anything this is just me sharing with you what has worked for me um, especially after three pregnancies and what makes my body feel good and with my doctor's permission so you guys should also consult your doctors beforehand before beginning any physical activity I do however hope to serve as you know motivation and inspiration for you guys to get your bodies moving just enough to be able to take care of yourselves and your growing baby exercise in pregnancy has a lot of benefits but this isn't the time to set extreme fitness goals or even try to get into things we've never really done before as for me, I've been into yoga for quite a while and because I really enjoyed attending prenatal yoga classes in my previous pregnancy, it's something I'm happy to be going at again this time around. But if like me, you have no choice but to follow along with workouts online, it's nice to choose ones that are not only done by licensed professionals but those that do some commentary as well so that even though they don't see you, you can be sure that you're getting in all the information needed to go ahead and do the moves the proper way. I also do strength training. It's important we keep our body strong and build that stamina in pregnancy, especially in time for labor. But I also like this because it helps relieve my lower back pain and keep myself from gaining all of that extra weight that may lead to complications when I give birth. Just like what happened to me with Lilo the last time. I was actually a candidate for a VBAC or a vaginal birth after cesarean, but I didn't succeed because of that. Anyways, what was most important to me was to give birth to Lilo the safest way possible. But this time around, given a C-section operation, and another one at that is a big deal, I want to make sure that I do my best in preparing my body for what's to come. Although this is something that I've been doing for a while, I still want to make sure that I don't overdo any of these exercises. Especially, I don't have Filmar around to guide me. I want to keep things less intense and be as careful as possible. This time around, I'm only carrying 5 pound weights even though I normally have been lifting 10 to 15 pound weights. I also added bar exercises into my routine but because I'm not that experienced, I only go for beginner workouts. I actually didn't expect this type of workout to really make me break a sweat but I love it. The 20 minute ones have been good enough for me and I like workouts that can be done in a shorter period of time. So I don't feel pressured whenever all of a sudden I need to attend to my girls. Okay, 
Lilo just needed a quick diaper change, but now I'm back. That was a good example. <laughs> I normally try to wait until Lilo takes her nap or Ellie goes into her online classes before I do my workouts. But when that doesn't happen, it's nice to know that my workouts are ones that I can safely do even when they're around. See, they can even join me if they want. <laughs> In a week, I work out for a maximum of 30 minutes a day and rest for two days or more when I'm not feeling it. I don't really pressure myself. We should always remember to listen to our body. Only we will be able to tell if our body needs that rest or if we may be overdoing ourselves. But for a more technical way, to tell if you're on the right track, you can always do the talk test. While doing our workouts, we should still be able to carry a conversation and talk straight. Otherwise, you'll need to slow things down. As for me, since I was just talking about, you know, listening to our body and not pressuring ourselves, I really enjoy working out and moving about. So when I feel like my body's already tired but I feel like moving, I do some stretches. It's such a great way for me to feel feel better and to feel like I'm relieving myself of all that stress and relieve all that pain that I may be experiencing but it's a great form of meditation as well. In a previous vlog, I've talked about diastasis recti and the exercises and just things in general that I've been doing to cure that. And even now in my pregnancy, it really helps to take the time to do some core workouts that allow me to work on my diastasis. I actually just found out about that this time around. So I'm trying to add that in to my workout routine as well. Other than that, I've been taking the time to do transverse abdominal breathing and kegel exercises that are super helpful in protecting our baby during pregnancy and will be super helpful to us postpartum as well. I don't know if you can see that I have this trolley around me every time I do my workouts. I set that up as a mobile workout station so that it will be easy for me to just, you know, pull around for the stuff that I need whenever and wherever I decide to do my workout. But also, I like that I have that as a designated area to put and keep my dumbbells in and whatnot so that Lilo or Ellie or even I will not, you know, accidentally trip over it or cause accidents in case I leave them lying on the floor. I don't know if you noticed, but since the first clip, I have been wearing like nice cute matching outfits and this is not an ad nor am i promoting any athletic wear but it's really nice to start the day or to wear workout gear in the beginning of your day because it keeps me motivated and feeling like oh i'm ready to work out anytime plus i look cute too <laughs> so i don't want it naman to go to waste but yeah, that's been really helpful. And especially because during pregnancy, you know, with our hormones and everything, we tend to feel not pretty. Well, at least I haven't been feeling my prettiest. <laughs> so, you know, dressing up and looking good, even if it's just to work out, has been really helpful. Let me know if you can relate to what I'm talking about. I also have this little notebook and it serves as my own fitness journal. I just find, find it so helpful. I'm a planner type of girl. I always have a bullet journal every year that, you know, <laughs> I work on designing and planning my life. <laughs> Um, so this fitness journal has been working well for me as well in the sense that I have a place to put down um, the workouts or the exercises that I've done, making sure that I'm doing it regularly and properly and just enough. Just because for me, um, sometimes I don't realize that I might be overdoing myself and because I'm pregnant, it's really crucial to have days of rest. 
and yeah so it also may work um, the other way around wherein if you write stuff down it will motivate you to actually do the workout that you've written down sometimes I even add in um, the food that I've eaten so that it makes me feel like oh I'm being consistent with with something <laughs> so yeah there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed or have picked up a thing or two from what I've shared and that it gets you somehow motivated to get moving as well or just, you know, entertained. I hope that it entertained um, seeing this time lapse of me um, breaking a sweat and, you know, moving about like a little potato. I hope that it made you happy somehow. So yeah, this marks the first of what I believe would be a series of my pregnancy videos. I'm so happy and stoked to be sharing my pregnancy journey with you guys this time around. So I hope that you are too and that you will stay tuned for more to come. Thanks for watching!